Ready to level up? Let's go. In this video, let us understand what is canary deployment. So for this, let's take this example. Imagine a restaurant has come up with a new dish. Okay. So let's call this as a dish uh, N. Okay. So in that restaurant, let's assume there are six tables. So instead of serving this new dish to all the tables, the restaurant's you know, owner thinks that they should just serve it to the first table and see the response of that user and then you know send it or prepare the dish for the rest of the tables. Because if something is not working out well, then they can test it and then redeploy or come up with a new dish to all the other users as well. Similarly, in software, a new application version is rolled out to small slice of users in production. Let's just say that it's one or two percent of the actual traffic. So for this, they use cloud native controllers like Kubernetes or your AWS code deploy, or it can be your GCP's deployment manager as well. So engineers monitor for the issues like crashes, errors, slow responses with observability too. So if all goes well, then the rollout expands in the stages. So making it 100%. Just like if the dish is good, they will expand it to the more tables to get the new dish. So if there is a problem, the change is quickly stopped or reversed, thereby affecting only a small group of users, not everyone. That's about canary deployment. If you're liking, please like the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.